start, lie down on your back and all you'll need is um, something that has some weight to it. So it could be a folded up towel or a smaller blanket. It could even be a bolster or a pillow. So we'll get started. So once you're lying on your back, place the blanket across the low belly, adding some weight into the seat of vada. Allow your legs to roll off very heavy at first. Place your hands beside you, or if you need a little bit more comfort, you can place your hands on the belly. So that might feel better for you. Take a moment to get adjusted, and then close your eyes. Feel the weight of your body on the ground. Experience yourself as heavy, relaxed, stable. Feel the points where your body meets the earth firmly. Perhaps the heels, the hips, the back of the shoulders or upper back. Tuck the chin toward the throat to clarify the back of your neck is long. Bring your attention to your breath. You don't really need to change it yet. Just see it. As you watch your breath, notice its quality. How it might be described. Is it shallow or deep? Is it short or long? Is it smooth or rough? Does it touch the chest or the belly more? What we observe begins to change, so you might already notice it changing. You might not. Just meet yourself where you are with sensitivity and honesty and non-judgment. Relax the muscles of your face, the space around your eyes and jaw and forehead. Place the tongue on the roof of the mouth behind the top row of teeth. Guide your breath in through the nose, down the back of the throat, and into the body, but guide it very low into your belly, if possible, so that when you inhale, the belly rises up against the weight of the blanket or your hands. When you exhale, see if you can lengthen your exhale. It might be so short that your inhale takes one second and your exhale takes two, or it could be 10 second inhale, 12 second exhale. Again, meet yourself where you are and gradually move in the direction of a longer breath pattern with your exhale longer than your inhale. Continue to guide the breath in and down into the belly. If the mind wanders, if it's really active, hook your attention onto the breath, giving the mind something to pay attention to. You might notice yourself wander off frequently. That's okay. Come back. I'd like for you to bring this breath with you throughout practice. Even though I will be introducing movement, movement will tie to breath and always 
you're invited to return to an exhale longer than an inhale, the breath smooth and steady and rhythmic, the breath touching way low in your belly. Set your blanket aside and draw both knees into your chest. Flex your feet and spread your toes. You can hold on to the shins or the back of your thighs, and if neither are available, a belt is handy. Find your breath again, and as you inhale, rock your knees a little bit away from your body, shifting weight to your tailbone. Follow your long exhale to draw the knees into the chest, gently flatten your low back curve, and lift the tailbone away from the floor slightly. Follow your breath pattern here. The inhale, knees away. The exhale, knees close. One breath, one movement. And rather than your breath fo following the actions, let your actions surrender to the breath. might notice the pressure of the thighs against the belly each time you hug the knees so close. Touching the seat of vata. The next time you draw your knees forward slightly, pause. You can keep the hands on the thighs or reach the arms into a T position beside you with your palms facing down. I will keep my hands on my thighs. Begin to move your knees over to the left and when you move left, scoop them up toward your left shoulder just a little bit. Inhale back to center and as you come toward center, shift the knees slightly forward. And exhale, knees to the right, toward the right shoulder. See here, you're just introducing a little bit of a U or a V shape traced with your knees. As you take this action, feel the weight of the body against the ground. The pressure of the hips, low back, against the mat. Soften your forehead, eyes, jaw, shoulders, neck. Keep just enough activity in the hands, your fingers spread slightly, and in your feet. Feet flexed, toes spread. When you've done each side equally, come to stillness in the middle. Set your feet down onto the mat. Keep your knees bent and place your hands beside your hips. You might stay just as you are or lift your hips up briefly for bridge. Notice if you do lift your hips, how different this might feel compared to the knees hugged in so close. See yourself in this moment if there's a shift in the mind or the emotions and, of course, the physical body. Lower your hips down. Transition to all fours. Once you're in all fours, set your hands under your shoulders, your knees under your hips, and your feet as wide as your knees. As you exhale, round your middle back up toward the ceiling, lengthen through your arms, press down into your hands and the tops of your feet. Carry your hips back toward your heels for child's pose, but not to stay. Lower the forehead toward the ground. Lift the head back up, press down into your palms and the tops of the feet, rise back up. Once you come back to all fours, Flatten the spine, melt your heart forward and down, your shoulders away from your ears, and look forward slightly. Stay with this action, the exhale to round the back and carry the hips to the heels. 
the inhale to rock back up. As you move, turn your attention to the firm contact of the hands, the tops of the feet, and the knees. Feel the ground beneath you, stable and unmoving, steady. And embody, if possible, those same qualities. Steady, stable. The next time your hips go to your heels, pause. You might take your knees wide apart or leave them close together. It's your preference, but to keep the knees close together, we'll apply a little bit more pressure in the belly. This could be uncomfortable for some, so knees wide apart will create more space. Your hands can remain outstretched in front of you, or you can bend at the elbows so that they come more into a diamond type position or take the hands back toward your heels. And as you pause, exhale longer than inhale, each breath in and down into the belly. If attention wanders, awaken and see it wandering and gently come back. Lengthen your arms forward until the elbows are straight. Lift your head. Press down into your palms, press down into the tops of the feet, and draw your shoulders away from your ears. Rise back up to all fours. Set the knees underneath your hips. Make sure there's some room in front of you so that you may lower onto your belly. Send your hips forward until the knees, the hips, and the shoulders are in one line. And in the best way for you, make your way to your belly. This could be by spiraling your elbows back, bending the elbows and lowering down. And if that's not available, just come to your belly in the best way. <clears throat> I did forget to tell you one thing. Place your blanket so that it is on your mat underneath your belly. So make that adjustment now. The location of the blanket should be somewhat, for the most part, above your belt line. The belly button will likely be in contact with it. So in other words, it's on the other side of your low back. Turn your left cheek to the mat. Place your arms in a comfortable position, goal post or diamond type. Bend the right knee up to the right in what we call creeping position. So the knee is bent and the foot remains in contact with the floor. Clarify that the left leg is straight, the top of the foot on the mat. Allow the heel to roll away to the left a little bit. With your left cheek on the mat, turn attention to the breath. Inhale into the belly, onto the blanket. Exhale longer than inhale, and with each exhale we let go of what does not serve us. You might energize through the right knee as if the right knee could go more to the right to press more of the hip and belly toward the floor.
gently switch sides. Straighten the right leg. Turn your right cheek to the floor. Draw the left knee up into the creeping position beside you. Clarify that the foot remains in contact. Lengthen the left knee away to the left. Breathe in and down into the belly. And when you breathe in and down into the belly, notice the low back curve, rise up, rock out. Exhale longer than inhale. The breath rhythmic, fluid. Relax your face and jaw. The eyes can be closed. Embody the qualities that are heavy, soft, stable, and unmoving. Last moments. Straighten your left leg out behind you. Bring your forehead to the mat. Slide your hands beside your chest, elbows bent. Curl your toes under, press down into your knees. Rock up to all fours and back to child's pose one more time. Rise up so that the head, the chest, the, um, excuse me, head and chest lift away from the floor and slide your hands backward. As you rise up, you'll come to the point that you can shift your hips to the side in order to transition to a seated position. In the seated position, bring the bottoms of your feet together and the knees wide apart. Inhale, open the knees really wide apart, lift your heart toward the ceiling, look up slightly. Exhale, round your spine like cat pose, which we did. Rest your head forward and down, hug your knees toward each other. Alternate these actions. Inhale, open knees, lift heart, look up. Exhale, round the spine, knees toward each other, heart and head down. The next time the knees come together, the spine rounds back, the head drops down, pause. You can stay like this or wrap the arms around the knees if this is comfortable in your low back and hug the knees very close to the body, allowing the bottoms of your feet to find the floor. through a neutral, normal seated position. If you have a bolster or a blanket, you can sit on it so that seated is more comfortable. Fold your legs or you could even be sitting on a chair at this point. If seated is feeling not as great as something that we did before with all of that closing in on the belly, you could take a blanket and rest it in your lap, kind of press it against the belly a little bit. 
Let your hands come to rest somewhere. Palms down is a little more grounding. And you can meet the hands in the middle if you like. At this point, I'd like to offer up a moment that you can repeat an affirmation. It's important for affirmations to be a concise choice of positive words. So not, I won't do this anymore, but rather, it's already happened. I am safe. Um, I am grounded. I am focused. So those would be phrases that Vata might choose. You might have something else in mind. And so with that concise choice of positive words, you want to visualize a moment that you feel that. So uh, a moment you feel safe, you feel stable, you feel grounded, um, you feel focused. Uh, and then you want to embody the emotion. What does that you know, feel like? So what does it feel like? What does it look like? And what's the phrase? So take a moment to come up with what that might be. Again, my offerings were, I am focused, I am stable, I am grounded, I am nurtured, I am steady. Visualize, find the emotion, and over the next few moments, eyes closed, body still, spine long, feel, visualize, and repeat that phrase as you connect with the same breath that you have carried through practice. So do this now. Stay with it. Return your attention to the feeling of the hips on the foundation beneath you. The length of your spine, release the thought, the emotion, and the phrase. Draw your palms together, the hands to the heart, and bow the head a little bit. And send yourself gratitude for taking this time out. You might notice how you feel now, perhaps a comparison available, comparing to how you felt before. And know that this affirmation will follow you off of your mat, into your day, your moments, your life. Thank you for your trust and support and for taking this time out with me. The light in me looks out, sees, bows, and recognizes the very same light in you. Namaste.